Hello dogs, Lodog right here right now. Welcome back to Stellaris. Nemesis! I'm a little late to the party on this one, mostly because I wanted to wait till after vacation and stuff before I bought it. I have all the DLCs now, as you can see here. And everything's available. And now I'm just gonna slowly scroll through the settings. That way you know what this world's gonna be. I've already gotten through all the beginning stuff and stuff like that. I've gotten some development set up and stuff, building up somewhat of a civilization. I did not want to go, I did not want you guys to be stuck going through the beginning again. Alright, got it? Iron Man mode is not on for this world. It should be mentioned. This one. It's yay. Got saved. Alright, welcome to our game here. So, it should be mentioned that a lot of things have changed since I've last played. The entire encountering civil civilization system has been changed. There's basically now like a new menu you get when trying to communicate with civilization. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yep, this one. And then, of course, there's a crap ton of planets around. I tried to grab some planets. But look what I found! Let's head to this planet. Let's head to the colony. I found a relic world. It's part of an archaeologist uh, quest line I'm going through. This wasn't. It's connected to this archaeology site here. Yeah, this site has been fully excavated. Basically, I got some sort of thing talking about the Drani. And then I've actually discovered someone up here. Amazingly enough, we have very similar ethics to each other. So this is definitely a civilization we could easily get along with, considering how similar our ethics are. These guys may become our allies in the future, and that'll be nice. Um, there were some uh, space amoebas over here that absolutely kicked my butt. I'm a little embarrassed about that. And of course, if you remember the settings, gateways and worms holes have been turned up all the way, habitable planets have been turned up all the way. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on with this galaxy. I don't know how fast this game is going to go. I may have to restart the game depending on how slow it goes. Anomaly found. I'll definitely change the uh, settings if need be. Life signs have been detected for coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere? Research. I think I know what quest line I just got there with the gas giant and everything. I don't need to st 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 continue tracking that. Oh boy. I... do not have any chance of excavation. Construction complete. I do not have any chance of excavation. Supposed to be easy. I've failed so many rolls over here because my luck is garbage. Yeah, I've got some mining stations and stuff being built at the moment. We're gonna have to get some. Uh... Our ships have been here going back and forth. 
making sure pirates don't raid everything. We have quite a bit of colonies in my administrative empire sprawl is pretty big. Basically, I built this species to colonize planets, like two worlds, they have a 90% thanks to the true Basically, I can colonize a lot of different worlds. A lot more worlds than other people. Like. Looks like this place is finished. Go ahead and get an observation post up and running. Actually, no, I actually planned to invade this place. Can I tell it to stop? Yeah. Go ahead, build some mining stations. I definitely plan on at least taking this star before stopping expanding towards this guy. I'm going to take Kondera because uh, it has some trade value here and that's going to be nice. There's also some trade value here in Strubius. I think this is probably a good place to put upgrade or star upgrade to a starport. So. That's what I'm going to do here. Actually, no, I don't need to start more there. Zubin is upgrading. Yeah, all right, we plan on putting a shipyard and a trade, trade network thing here. We're going to get quite a bit of trade from here. This is mostly going to be a trading post. Construction complete. Yep, there we go. Now we can go ahead. Let's go ahead and just put two trade hubs here. found on Selau Prime seem to have prompted many of the planet's colonists to adopt some kind of pacifist philosophy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right. I'm militarist. I may be xenophile and I may be, uh... The other thing. I forget what the other one I got was. I'm authoritarian and militarist, but I'm also a genophile, so...
I got some buildings here, but don't think everyone's jobless yet. Yeah, we're still waiting on the jobs here to get filled in. We've got a lot of population here. Got some pre-sapiens in this world. Got a bureaucrat. Yeah, we're just waiting for all of the populations to come to start coming in and construction complete. actually plan on invading this. I would love nothing but to peacefully integrate these guys into our empire, but I do not want them to be a puppet. I want them to be incorporated directly into my empire. And so I'm planning on invading these guys. should go ahead and start preparing some sort of uh, army to invade the planet. Yep. All right. And let's go ahead and buy some minerals. Buy as many as we can. And then put that towards building up an army over here. Alright, cool. Bodies filled with lighter than air gases follow the wind currents and feed off energy released by gas giants' frequent lightning storms. Things in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Cool. Uh, how's my buddy doing over here? We're still cordial. Our relations are slowly rising. Construction Our power is complete. overwhelming. That's not surprising. I have not focused on anything conquering wise. I went down the prosperity route this time, mostly because I wanted to get a little bit more resources, like minerals and stuff. And it's actually helped. Like, I've almost gone into debt, and that stuff actually helped. New factions recently begin the attraction in the internal political landscape. Academy of Scientific Betterment. slowly gaining more and more influence. We have a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just go ahead and keep expanding. I think I'm going to stop my expansion for a while once I take this star. Mostly because, well, we're hitting our empire sprawling. Our bureaucratic center planet. This, is, this planet's just going to be for all our bureaucratic stuff. Oh yeah, we have a pre-sapient species on the Let's see, which planet is it? Ocilius. We have a pre-sapient species, which... They're starting to become intelligent, but they're not really fully intelligent yet. And then, of course, to help with Empire Sprawl, I went with uh, Imperial Prerogative.
All right. Yeah, we're gonna wait for our population of Doggia to grow. Though we're having a lot of migration. love to encourage uh... can I encourage growth I could probably encourage growth here there we go. we've launched that go do something important real quick I'll be back in a moment right now I've got a lot going on right now and so unfortunately this video is gonna have to end early do not worry I may upload a second part I may upload a second video today to make up for that but I've got a lot going on and I have to close out Stellaris I'll see you on the next video bye bye